So let's pray. Dear Father, I thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. You say with two or three God in your name, you've been in the midst of them. We now invite you to see the presence of the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in all truth. Father, we, we take this day and celebrate in our country, in this country, Father's Day. And, and what we want to do is to recognize and honor you as the Father of all things. Glory to God. And, and we thank you for being the provider for all of us to seek you. And I, I like what the word says, seek you first. So we seek you and we thank you that we have a fellowship and relationship with you. And we're talking about those who believe and submitted themselves and, and allow Christ, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, to be our savior, our deliverer, so that we can be connected back to you. I thank you and we praise your holy name as we get into your message today. Who was out of the way and the Holy Spirit have his way to teach us and guide us in all truth. In Yeshua, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Tuzla, Oklahoma, we got a killing. We got Uvesta, Texas. 18-year-old gunman killed 19 children, two adults at Rob Elementary School on May 24th in their deadliest school shooting in a nearby decade, in nearly a decade. More than 50 other people were wounded. Law enforcement killed the attacker. Chicago shooting killed two people and injured seven others on May 19th, just blocks from the magnificent Mall shopping district. Two men have been charged. This is the works of the flesh. That's what I'm saying. Let's not work on the, the focus on the minor when we got these bad things going on. And, and the bad thing about it is when we talk about it, we, we you know, like we, we, we look at it, we like a cherry pick, the, even we cherry pick the 10 commandments, it's just 10 of them, cherry pick. A lot of us don't look at this one. I don't, do you have anybody looked at this on 10 commandments? What it says here, thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. That, that is what, see politics will bear false witness against thy neighbor. Huh? In politics, they'll do it. And in hate groups, they'll do it. Big lies. You know, one of the biggest lies that has been going on. Let me come off this for a second. Let me come off of this for a second. Thou shall not bear false one against that neighbor. We have had from generation to generation, parents teaching their children false lies about people just of the mere color of their skin. Come on now. And he said, thou shall not bear false witness. But the only way we can sit there and attack things like racism, the only way we can talk about politics is to take the lies out and stop bearing false witness. But that's what we do. We have wars based on lies. We have wars based on the works of the flesh. But I'm telling you, if we want to stop, at least I'm talking about killing racism, dead in the talk, in his track is to start telling people, stop bearing false witness against our neighbor. Stop sitting there telling that all people, based on the color of their skin, are this and that. You know that's not true. You know it's not true. You know you got friends that, that have different colors of skin. You got friends that are black or brown. You got friends that are white. And you got friends that come from China. You got friends that come from Europe. You got friends that come from Chicago. From, from Los Angeles, you got friends of different colors. And yet you will sit there and tell your child, teach your child, child about somebody as if, they, as if they're all part of the group and they're all the same, where they're not. There's no, no, there's people not the same in your own household, even though they got the same complexion that you have. They're not the same. Brothers and sisters are not the same. So when we sit there and, and I'm saying, let's end racism right now by stop trying to, to, to put an entire group of people, whether they're from the North or whether they're from the South, whether they're brown or whether they're black or whether they're white, let's, let's, don't put the entire group of people based on the mere color of the skin and stop trying to even do that with politics. 
Stop trying to say all oh, Democrats are this and all Republicans are that. That's not true. We try to politics, we try to merge different consensus together, but we're not all the same. We're all individuals, we all make this individual decisions. But we got to sit there. Let's, so let's stop telling your child all brown people, all white people are this way. Stop doing that. Stop doing lies and, 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 and ban false witness, because that's a lie when you sit there and say that, when you know this, that's a, what you call exceptions. If there are exceptions, then stop trying to give and paint it on a group of people. Don't lie to, about a person. Don't lie about ban false. There's a big one. That's, you know, the Bible says you said at one point, you send it all points. Don't bear false witness. Don't bear false witness. So I'm a, I just wanted to, to, to make sure I, I bring that up and said, don't bear false witness. That's, that's what I want to sit there and, and that fellowship with God. Don't bear false witness. Thou, verse Exodus 20, this is a part of the Ten Commandments. A lot of people don't look at it, but this is what it says. Thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. And then look at Matthew and Jesus when he asked that, the guy asked a question to Christ. He asked Yeshua, he asked Jesus. He said, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said, Jesus answered, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. He didn't say love your skin color or people got the same color skin or the same people that have the same political affiliation with all their heart. He said, love the Lord thy God with all his heart, with all thy heart and with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. This is the first and great commandment. We both love God more than anything else. God the Father. The Father. God the Father. Love him with all that heart, with all that soul, with all that mind. And here's a big one. The second is like unto it, like unto it, like unto what? The first great commandment. Thou shall love thy neighbor as thyself. That is where we need to focus on those two commandments. Said, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. <laughs> God the Father, love him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. And then to love thy neighbors, thyself. Now, some of you don't love yourself. That's another story. And we'll deal with those people. But for you as a believer, is to love your neighbor as thyself. God is talking how we must love one another. Love thy neighbors, thyself. Come on, saints. Come on, those who want to be a believers. Come on now. That's what I'm saying. We ain't gonna focus on the minor. We're not gonna sit there and try to focus on what, what club you went to, what dance you did lately. That is, that is not that is not dealing with love of that neighbors, that self. If you love dancing, then dance. If you want, if somebody hate you because you do that, then you say, I love you anyway. I love you because I don't need you to love me. I love you. As I love myself, I love myself, I love you. And I dance all day night, I go to the club all night long if I want to, because I still don't in love. And whatever I do, do it in love. Don't don't do don't do the people that go like go to the club to shoot. Don't do like people who go to church to shoot. <laughs> See what I'm saying is it doesn't matter where you go. <laughs> it's still we got issues, right? <laughs> oh, look at this. Let's see what else we got. And we'll wrap up with these two couple of scriptures right here. He said, walking in the light. This then is a message. 
which we have heard of him. And see, I like reading all these scriptures because the scriptures is where we get our power from. That's where you get your power from, what is written. He said, this then is a message which you have heard of him and declare unto you that God is what? Light. And in him is no darkness at all. That's why that subject title I put in the fact is, can you fellowship with God and walk in darkness? Can you fellowship with God and walk in darkness? He says right here, God is light. And in him is no darkness. So how can you fellowship with God the Father and walk in darkness? If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. And the truth is not and do not the truth. What the scripture says, if we walk in the light as he is in the light and have fellowship one with another, the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Christ, that's why it's important for the salvation, the message of salvation, is to walk in Christ and his fellowship, his blood, right? Not what you do, because nothing that you do equals salvation. If you're gonna do it, you do it in love. Everything that you do should be done in love. Let's do verse seven again. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ's son cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned it, we make him a liar and his word is not in us because all is sin that comes short of the glory of God. It's not, it's not, it's not, what we do, who we believe in, amen? And those are the type, those are the scriptures I wanted to cover today. That's my, my, my favorite buddy right there, Elder Johnson, he going with the Lord. But those are the type of things, fellowship with God the Father. This is Father's Day, honor God the Father. Have fellowship with him. There's no darkness in him. There's darkness in political parties. There's darkness in people based on people basing things on the color of the skin. There's darkness, but not in him. And see, a lot of times people don't want to hear the word of God, but I, I, that's not for me to concern myself with. Let's go by the word of God. Let's go by the love and the mercy of God. Let's trust in him. Let's fellowship in him. Let's believe in him. Let us walk in the compassion that he has. Let us love one another and not put one another down, trying to judge people based on, <laughs> you know, like we were talking, brother, we, we're not gonna judge people based on where they go to club or what, what party they're in, political party they're in, or what color their skin. We're gonna love people and we're gonna treat people by the will of God the Father. But we're gonna have fellowship with God the Father. This is Father's Day. Learn to understand God the Father. Fellowship with him. In him there is no darkness. Fellowship with him where there is no darkness. Walk with him and he will manifest, he will prove, bear the fruits of the Spirit because that's what he wants us to do. Let the Holy Spirit be manifest in us because you can't bear fruits. Of, you can't even bear the fruits of the Spirit without the Holy Spirit. Or you can't sustain it without the Holy Spirit. And you have to have fellowship with God the Father. He is our Father. We are his children. We are led by him. We are taught by him. The word of God is our foundation, our rock. And you don't see the hate that you see in political affiliations. You, we don't, you don't see that in, 
There was a darkness. But I want you to be light in there. So I don't want you to walk away from one party or another. I don't want you to walk away from somebody because of the color of skin, because you can't do it by the color of skin anyway. So don't sit there and do that. Don't, don't, don't be some of the atrocities that I've, I've just like the mass shootings. These mass shooters are not strangers to us because we had it. And, and all the way back in history of man, history of man. A tree is known by its fruit. The man, the, you know, the Bible said the heart of man is deceitful above all things wicked. We need a savior. <laughs> I need a savior and you need a savior. And let's trust in him, amen? All right, it's time for us to get ready to go to fellowship somewhere and, 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 and different churches and everything. I, and I appreciate those who want to take time to, to listen. I appreciate the comments. I do have it up where I can see live chat and, and I can't talk. I can only speak back with the video. I ain't got time to type right now. Probably mess it all up, misspell words anyway. But the bottom line is, let's not walk, let's not focus on those things that has nothing that, that, that do with the works of the flesh. Let's focus on not executing the works of the flesh. Let's focus on doing the love and the mercy that God has given all of us. I hope you all have a great Father's Day. And I hope you continue to trust in the Lord and let the word of God be our, uh, our message, our life, our will. God the Father, his will. Thy will be done. And that's what we do that. Uh, you know, that's what Jesus Christ gave us. Yeshua gave us. Jesus gave us the, the, the Lord's Prayer. We call it the Lord's Prayer. But it says, it's our Father which art in heaven, I will be thy name, thy kingdom come. Look, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, right? And forgive us of our trespass, and we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power of the glory for us. Let's, let's focus on that. That is where we want to do. And see, Christ said that our Father, amen? I like that. He's, he's telling us, Happy Father's Day, God the Father. And then all the other fathers after that, all the natural fathers, and you know, he said, hey, look, I love you, man. <laughs> I love you. And, and, and love one another. Because that's his will, right? We do that in the Lord's Prayer. So God bless you. I want y'all to have a great Father's Day. Go out there, eat some steak or, or eat some fish or, or whatever you do. And remember, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, is our Lord and Savior. And there's no other way to get to the Father but by Him. Amen. God bless you. And I hope you all have a great, great week. Amen. Thank you for watching. Hallelujah. I'll see you next time. <laughs>